hello guys welcome to my channel uh, today I'm gonna show you how to make uh, the MSI Club A1M's battery last longer while playing games and before we start make sure to check out the optimization guide part 1 and part 2 for the MSI Club A1M because in this video you will need those two thank you okay First, we will go to Windows setting. Okay, now uh, go to the system display. Now change this to 50. You can set it to 50 or 70, but 50 is fine too. Now change this to uh, on battery only okay now go down come here set your refresh rate to uh, to 48 hertz but you can do this with the MSI uh, center M2 like this go here and change it to 48 Hertz okay now this is 48 you can set it to 62 but uh, I wanna get the most out of this battery so I will it, uh, I will select the 48 Hertz now get out of this and go back and go to sound and put the volume to 50 as well okay now we do not need this right now but put it on uh, 50 when you are using the speakers Go to power and battery. Okay, the power mode is to be set to high performance. So do not change this. Set the energy saver to off. What happened? Okay, get out of this. So, now, and open the Intel app. Okay, go to graphics. Yep, it is bugging. So, enable this option, uh, and I don't know why, but this FPS limiter really does not work on my games. Uh, even if I uh, put them on profiles, but uh, they won't work. So, um, I really do not see any uh, good come out of this option. And this one, uh, I do not recommend uh, setting this on because uh, it will boost battery. But I read some uh, some things on Reddit that uh, this can uh, cause a stuttery and something like this. So do not set this on. Okay, go to display. 
We say that the VR are come down set this to three. Okay. We say that this two. Okay. a little bit okay now open MSI center M Center M now. Sorry, go to the user scenario. Okay. Uh, we can use the manual mode out of the super battery. Okay. Uh, for 20 watt mode, I use super battery, and for 25 watt mode, I use manual. Come here, go to DC. And set both both of these to 25, and then click apply. Okay, now get out of this. Go to settings. Okay, turn off the RGB. You can turn off the RGB here. Are using the MSI widget like this. Okay. Turn off the noise cancellation. Go to battery. Okay. When you are playing plug in, uh, or you have access to uh, power banks, select this to 80%. Uh, but if you don't have any of those, then select it to 100% uh, when you want to go out okay because i don't always recommend uh, charging your device all the way up to 100% okay it will hurt the battery and also do this battery uh, calibration every one month and um, it really uh, affects the battery okay now we will set this to 100 percent yep it's buggy yep now uh, turn off this uh, and go to control mode gamepad mode now disable the vibration too okay and disable this too okay If uh, with MSI widget you can set those two. You can set the brightness, the refresh rate, the RGB light. Yep, and also free up memory. Okay, now uh, the model that that I have is the Ultra Seven One. Uh, and it has six P cores. Okay, uh, I recommend turn off all of the E cores uh, and only enable the P cores. Uh, this model has six P cores. The Ultra 5 one has four P cores. Uh, I have tested uh, three different scenarios that I will show in the end. But first. Uh, uh, if you want to turn off the e-cord you should go to BIOS 
and for that uh, I have made the optimization guide part one that is related to bio setting so check that video out and uh, for the CPU core speeds okay uh, we can change the P core speeds in BIOS and in Windows uh, but for below 3 GHz uh, we must do it in Windows okay uh, if we go to Windows go to edit power plan come to change as well power setting power management okay come here this is for equals do not uh, change this okay this two or four people set this to two gigahertz for two gigahertz we have to plus it with 110 it's a windows bug you can say because if i only uh, write uh, 2000 here then it would uh, perform up to 1.9 gigahertz so we have to put it like this and if you don't have this option uh, on your power options then go and watch uh, the optimization guide part 2 in there uh, I have explained this too and generally uh, for your MSI it is good to watch those two optimization guides I really recommend you to watch those ok now this is to close this Uh, and also put your device to airplane mode and uh, turn off Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and everything else okay and turn off all of these two okay only this option should be on because this is all the background process okay so make sure to close uh, all of the unnecessary background process process ok now for the results ok this is the results I tested the Marvel vs Spider-Man Remastered game uh, on 1080p XCSS performance and optimized settings uh, while playing with 25 watt mode and 6p cores and vsync on with all of these other uh, settings that I have mentioned in this video uh, like that 48 hertz refresh rate uh, it gave me 1 hour and 30 minutes uh, if you use the super battery mode or 20, 20 watts mode with 6 p cores it gives me it gave me 1 hour and 50 minutes and if you use only 4 p cores and 20 watt and with a, with a 30 fps lock then it will last to 2 hours and 30 minutes and this is the most you can get out of this battery and I say it's pretty good you know um, the 30 fps like uh, when you do this it will become like a PS4 game you know and uh, even in Steam Deck there are many games that only run uh, to 30 fps lock okay in this other two option the FPS uh, would go up to uh, 48 FPS because the VSync was on but in this uh, the FPS was 30 and I have enabled motion blur too because 
that makes the game looks better and yep this is what you can expect at the maximum okay guys that was it thank you for watching this video i hope you find this video useful thank you for all of your support uh, and for those tests and for those tests uh, i have tested them myself and i did not just calculate anything so making this video really took a long time uh, i would appreciate it if you like comment share and subscribe it really makes me uh, to making more videos thank you for watching and bye